Last time you were here, we talked about uh, your upbringing. You went to high school with Slash from mm -hmm, Guns N' Roses. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then I think after you left, we realized you also went to high school with Nick Cage. I did. That is uh, really impressive. And did you know each other at all? We did. He was, at that time, he was uh, Nick Coppola, Nicholas right? Coppola. And uh, there was a production of Oklahoma. And he was playing the lead male character. And uh, I was in the pit playing drums. So I was the drummer in the orchestra. And also Gina Gershon. Oh, wow. Another uh, was, wonderful was, was actor. Was in the play as well, playing opposite Nick. And, we, and yeah. you know, obviously, you know, I think when we're all in high school, you, the people that are the, uh, you know, the theater stars, you think they're mm -hmm. wonderful. Obviously, you were in a unique position where they actually were. Could you tell in high school? Were you watching them thinking, like, oh, they're going to be famous? Um, I had no idea. Yeah. I had no idea. You know, we're, we're all just doing what we do. And uh, it's, it's, it's amazing when I see them now. It's like, wow, we... Yeah. We, we, we did all right. You all did all yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, I, they have other people wash their jeans for him, but that's fine. It's not a contest. <laughs> uh, I want to ask this. You, you know, when you say, I think when I sit here and I say, oh, you went to high school with all these people, right. they might think, oh, my God, this must have been, uh, you know, you must have had everything you could have wanted to be at a high school. But you also had hard jobs. You I, gutted, I left home when I was 15. Right. Yeah. Uh, but you had a job in high school gutting fish. Yes, I did. So where? where? I, I worked at a place on Washington and Rimpaw, and it was called Leroy's Fish Market. Mm -hmm. And it was one of those, you know, uh, hood, you buy, we fry fish joints. And so, yeah, the fish would be in the, behind the glass counter. And uh, somebody would come in and say, I'll have two pounds of this, five pounds of that. I have to then scale it, cut it, gut it, clean it, and fry it. Wow. Yeah. And at the time, I used to fry... Uh, Mayor Tom Bradley's fish, because he would come in. Does anybody remember Tom Bradley? <laughs> okay. There's, a, there's an airport named after him. Um, uh, or a terminal, at least. Yeah, right? yeah, I think yeah. it's the terminal. You're but, right. But uh, yeah, he used to come in on Fridays and get his fish. But yeah, I had that job for about a year. So it seems like tonight's whole theme is about how much I smell. I know, I feel because, bad. Now. Uh, I feel bad. Because, As you were talking, I realized, I, oh, we've, we've found a theme. I yeah. smelled for a year. <laughs> yeah. And my mother taught me this trick. She said, baby, go home and, and bathe with lemons. Uh -huh. So I would have all these lemons at the end of the day that I'd go get, and I'd cut them, and I'd get in the shower, and I'd scrub with lemons. And I still stank. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I worked at a, a sub shop, and I just remember being around onions. Uh, that was enough. Uh, so I can only imagine what it was like cutting Yeah, you, ca you came home covered in fish guts. And, yeah, yeah, that's not a... But it was a great job. And I got to know people really well. It was, it was one of those jobs where I, I got to learn so much about people. You and know? you, uh, I feel like you've lived in some of the places that are best in the world for getting to know not just people, but uh, exceptional people. You were in like, New York. Like, well, you were in New York, and you lived across the street when you were a kid, right? right? Across the street from Joe Namath? I did. And uh, I, you, used to, I used to play catch with Joe Namath. Where in New York, where would you play catch? He lived... I lived at 5 East 82nd Street. He lived at 3 East 82nd Street. And so I could see into his apartment. And um, in fact, I didn't read, which was in the 70s, Joe Namath was, yeah. was the man, right? I think it's the apartment most people would have liked to be able to see into. Yeah, so I, I, I actually met him again several years ago doing the David Letterman show. And I said, by the way, you probably don't know who I am. He's like, yeah, I know you. I said, no, no, but I was the little kid that lived across the street that you used to play catch with. And I said, I used to look inside of your apartment. And, I, and he, and he kind of wasn't sure. And I started telling him about the things I saw in the apartment and the furnishings. And he was like, oh, you, you did. <laughs> uh, yeah. And um, so, yeah, I got, to, I got to grow up playing catch with Joe Namath. Yeah. That's not, uh, not a bad situation. I had, I had a very strange childhood. You had, yeah. yeah. I, I would say every part of your life has been very interesting. And that's why it's always lovely to have you here. Thank you so much.